Hi friends! So today is going to be a little bit different than some of the other videos we've done for a couple of reasons. One, it's Monday and we said last week that this week is Spirit Week. So for today's video, I am wearing my sweats, my workout clothes, I've got my sweatshirt on, I've got some tennis shoes and some sweatpants. So since I'm dressed up in my workout gear, I thought let's get some exercise for our video today. So before we do that, we're going to go on a nature walk, but before we do, we need to, to learn a, we need to learn a little bit. Who knows? Let me know if you know the difference between things that are living and things that are non-living. What do you know about things that are living and non-living? So, living things are things that are alive or were once alive. They are things that need energy, things that grow, and things that reproduce, which means they either have babies or lay eggs. Non-living things are things that are not alive, were never alive, will never be alive. They do not grow and they do not reproduce. They don't have babies or eggs. Can you think of something that is living? Remember, living things are alive, they need energy, they grow, and they can have babies or lay eggs. I know something that's living. You. You are alive. You need energy. You grow. I know all of you have grown so much this year so far. And when you're all grown up, you could have a baby since you meet every single thing on our checklist. There are four things you have to check in order to be a living thing. Since you meet all four of those things, that means you're a living thing. Now, can you think of something that's non-living? The non-living thing I'm thinking of is this picture. It does not grow. It is not alive. It has never been alive. It will never be alive. And it doesn't have babies. It does not reproduce. It doesn't have babies or lay eggs. It's just a picture. It can't make any more of itself. So that is something that is non-living. All right. Now we're going to go on a walk. And I'm going to pause the picture every once in a while. And whenever I pause it, I want you to write down two things that are living and two things that are non-living in each picture. If you want to write down more, if you find two and they're like, oh, I found another living thing or, oh, I found another non-living thing, you can write down more than two, but at least two living and two non-living things at each stop. Okay? Well, I am walking, I want you to make a T-chart, kind of like we did in math where we had the tens and ones. You're going to make a T-chart just like that, but on one side, you're going to write living, and on the other side, you're going to write non-living. Underneath each section, you're going to put, each time we stop, two things that are living and two things that are non-living. So you're going to look at the picture, what are two things that are living and two things that are non-living. Okay, and when you go later on a walk of your own, you're going to write down three things that are living and three things that are non-living. All right, let's go.
Alright friends, today we talked about living and non-living things and you guys got to look when I went on my walk at what things you saw that were living and non-living. So, how do you know if something is living? Yep, we know it's living by whether or not it was alive, whether or not it needs energy from soil or food, whether or not it grows, and whether or not it can reproduce, which means have babies or eggs or if it has seeds, something like that. So those are the things that tell us whether or not something is living. How can you tell if something is non-living? You got it. So things that are non-living do not grow, they are not alive, and they don't reproduce. They don't make more. So now it's your turn. Whenever the weather is nice, that could be while you're watching this video, that could be tomorrow, that could be in a few days. Um, I recorded actually on Sunday, so I took my walk yesterday. But whenever it is nice out and it's daytime, you can ask an adult if you can go outside for a walk and I want you to look around your house, around your neighborhood and find three things that are living and three things that are non-living and write them down in your chart. When you're all done with that, you can take a picture. This time we're going to submit it on Google Classroom. So in the remind announcements, there is a code that you can put into Google Classroom and that's where you can access the assignment and where to upload it. It'll, it'll say Monday video or nature walk. And in there, it'll say where to submit the picture of your work. Don't forget, it is Spirit Week and tomorrow is pajama day. So you can wear your pajamas all day and then have an adult at home take a picture and you can post it to the Georgian Heights PTA Facebook page with the hashtag G.H. Pride. All right. Have fun going on your walk. Look for all the living and non-living things. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.